Tonight, the future of the primary EMS provider in Colorado Springs is in question. 13 Investigates has learned paramedics with American Medical Response are failing to get to emergency calls on time. Investigative reporter Quinn Ritzdorf is live in our newsroom to explain how the ambulance company is responding tonight. Quinn. Burton Heather, so far, American Medical Response has been slapped with millions of dollars in city fines just for 2022. All of these fines are related to AMR paramedics not getting to calls on time. Tonight, the ambulance provider tells 13 Investigates the response time issues are largely due to staffing shortages. The city of Colorado Springs signed a new contract with American Medical Response back in April of 2020. It requires paramedics to arrive within eight minutes for 90% of life-threatening calls. And now the ambulance company says the pandemic is to blame for them not meeting that response call requirement. Short staff caused us to have less resources available to put on the street. At the end of 2021, data shows paramedic response times for life-threatening emergencies started to decline. The trend continued into 2022, with paramedics arriving late to 19% of the highest priority calls last January. The most current data through October shows there were only three months when AMR met the city's requirement of arriving to 90% of calls on time. Because of these late arrivals, AMR has forked over $3.3 million in city fines in a 10-month span. At what point does it get uh, to where it's not profitable, right? And, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. In October, the city placed AMR on a probationary cure period. The city told AMR that by the end of 2022, AMR must arrive on time to 90% of all calls. And if it didn't, the city could terminate their contract. The city is still working through the November and December data to determine if AMR met the requirements. AMR told 13 Investigates their paramedics arrived on time to 89% of calls in December and that staffing continues to improve. Reporting live in the newsroom, Quinn Ritzdorf, 13 Investigates. All right, Quinn, thank you.